Ukrainian units conducted another attack by three unmanned boats in the waters south of Kerch Strait. The target of the drones was the guard ship of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Navy, Pit Livy. All boats were destroyed. Ukrainian terrorists also continued to attack of Kursk region settlements. In Uspanovka, Koronevsky district, a private residential building was hit. One civilian was wounded. In addition, AFU again launched combined strikes at Belgorod region. As a result of artillery shelling and drone attacks, civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged. One person was killed and another was wounded. AFU again launched a simultaneous attack at the northern and southern flanks of Bakhmut sector. In the direction of Zaliznyanske and Rozdalivka, the enemy conducted reconnaissance in force, trying to probe the Russian troops' defense. In parallel, the enemy troops launched four attacks at the positions of Russian fighters near the outskirts of Klishchivka. The offensive was repulsed, but the concentration of Ukrainian forces in this area remains. In the South Donetsk direction, the enemy is intensifying offensive actions. The AFU command is actively pulling units to the lines of Novodonetske, Novomayorske, and Prichistivka Pavlivka. Ukrainian units throughout the weekend shelled frontline settlements of Zaporizhia region. Civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged. Three people were killed and five wounded. Severe fighting continues at Orakiv sector. Ukrainian units conducted several unsuccessful attacks northwest of Verbov, retreating under Russian artillery fire. Russian troops have launched strikes by Geranium Drones family at the port infrastructure of the city of Reni. One of the targets was the port fuel storage facility. At least two tanks were destroyed as a result of the attack.